Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. I'm here in beautiful Kailua Beach in Oahu, in Hawaii. It's very relaxing here. It makes me want to talk about more subjects that I feel stress people out too much. A lot of people email me and are concerned about disk space, how it changes, how suddenly more seems to be used, and they haven't created any new files or downloaded any new software. Well, the thing is that with a modern computer, you can't really worry too much about about the exact amount of disk space you have available. Because different programs are going to use disk space without you even knowing it, even the operating system itself. So yeah, if suddenly many gigabytes of space go missing on your drive or are used, then you might want to look into it. But for just simply kilobytes or even megabytes, don't worry about it too much. One of the things that disk space is used for is cache files. Cache files say when you go to a web page like this one at MacMost, and you look at that logo up there, takes that logo graphic and stores it in case it needs it again, which hopefully it will because you'll visit other pages at macmost.com. So a cache can be used for things that are downloaded frequently. It also can be used for other things, like for instance, when you're rendering a video file in a video editing program, it may save some of the data, like data used for creating a title or rendering two clips together. It may save that in a cache so that it could use it again later on. Also, a lot of programs, including the system, keep logs of things that are going on. And it'll clean these out periodically, maybe save things for about a month or so, but this will take up space, so it'll look like you're eating up more disk space as you use your Mac. So, say suddenly you notice a few megabytes more are in use in your hard drive, but you really haven't felt you've done anything. Well, those could be cache files, they could be log files, they could be all sorts of things used by different applications. Even word processors will create cache files, say for how fonts look or different parts of the file. Just actually editing a file, even if you don't make many alterations, will save alternate versions of that file back in time, depending upon what software you're using. So here are some other things that also may take up disk space without you even realizing it. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.